Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys had a very good Christmas. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a New Year's glam for 2019. So if you want to learn how I did this, please keep watching. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is called 3503 Fierce by Nature. And I'm going to be going in with this shade called Warning Label with my Morphe E17 brush. And I'm going to be blending this into my crease. Okay guys, for the next step... I learned a new technique, so if you have trouble with blending, you might want to keep watching this video. So I see, I've always seen all these videos on the internet, like where people are doing their makeup and it's all perfect. And I'm like, how do they blend it like that? Well, there's a trick so you can blend really fast and really easy. But first, let's apply the shade Unstoppable. And I'm using the brush JH33 by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And this is that technique I was talking about. Flip your brush backwards and just rub it on there with not, not the tip of the brush, but like the center of it. And it blends it for you. Mind blown. I've always been struggling with this and I learned this from Nikki Tutorials, you guys, and it worked for me. So I hope it works for you too. It takes some getting used to and it looks hard and weird, but it works. So now I'm going to be going in with my previous brush and I'm just going to use that to blend those two shades together. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to be going in with the shade Hypnotic and I'm going to be using a pencil brush from e.l.f. I'm not sure what the number is, but it's from e.l.f. So we're going to be applying this onto our crease. This is like a dark cranberry red, like very, very dark with the red undertone. So this is going to make the look stand out. Only apply this on your lower crease. Do not go higher than that. Guys, don't forget to follow me on social media so that you guys can see when I'm going to be posting my future videos. Now I'm going back in with my first brush, the Morphe E17, and I'm just going to blend those shades out together. I'm just using the leftover product. I did not grab any more, so just blend it as it is. Next, I'm going in with my favorite makeup remover, Cleansing Towels. And these are from Neutrogena. These work so good, except that they're a little oily, which is why we have to be careful in this step. We're just going to clean that out and then pat it down with our finger so that it's dry. And I'm going in with my Kat Von D foundation that's full coverage to use it as a concealer to cut my crease. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird and it cracks at times. It's just that I'm a little sick this morning. I have some allergies, so you guys can't hear my mocos. <laughs> If you're a beginner to doing cut creases, I recommend that you do tapping motions because I feel like if you drag your brush, it's harder for you to have control over it and you can mess up pretty bad. So you guys can use whatever technique you guys want, but I recommend you tap your way in there. So I'm taking this concealer all the way towards the inner corner because I want this to stand out more and I want it to look like a cat eye, but very dramatic. <laughs> So yeah, this is optional. You guys don't have to do this. Also, if you have hooded eyes, don't get discouraged. You can still create this look. Just form your crease above your natural crease so that it's actually noticeable. Okay, so I'm using a beauty blender to pat that down so that it's even. And when I apply my light pink shade, it applies evenly. Now I'm going in with the 35B palette and I'm not sure what the shade is called but it's a shimmery pink and I'm using this with my most important tool which is my finger. I feel like this applies it better and it's more noticeable. So yeah guys, next I'm going to be going in with the NYX eyeliner and this is a new product that I bought and I'm going to be applying this before I apply my liquid liner. This is what it looks like. I like the eyeliner, but I don't like that it gets dry. But if you're looking for something on a budget, this one is perfect and it's very, very black. So that's really good. If you have some of that little oil that people normally use to apply on their face, like as a primer, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> but if you guys have some of that, I'm sure that that works. I saw that in a video that Anne Nook posted. So yeah, guys. Next, I'm going in with my Italia Deluxe Liquid Eyeliner, and this is my favorite eyeliner, you guys. The only bad thing about it is that it cracks if you don't apply anything under it, but it is very affordable, so if you want some eyeliner on a budget, I do recommend this one. Now, I'm going in with my favorite mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, 
and I'm gonna be applying a couple of coats because I'm gonna be using some false lashes as you guys can see on my other eye and this time I'm trying some new ones these are called a lash couture fox mink lashes and oh my god you guys I fell in love with these they're so pretty and so dark I'm also using a new glue so let me get the name for you guys under in the description because I forgot what it was called <laughs> So I'm using my Believe Beauty Concealer to clean out my wing and my under eye. If you're looking for an affordable concealer, I recommend this one. You can get it at any Dollar General store and it's like 4 to $5. So I recommend it. And also this beauty sponge from Instylish, you guys, it's amazing. Like you wet it and it like poofs up like all huge. It's, it's awesome. So anyways... Now I'm just gonna set my face really quick and then we're gonna be going in with the shade warning label and we're gonna be applying this on our under eye. I'm using the JH33 brush and be careful with the shade you guys because it can be really messy and especially after you set your face. So we're gonna be applying this all over our lash line. And once that is done, I'm going to be taking a clean brush with no product and I'm just going to blend that out to make it look smoky. I got this brush from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I know it came with like this little brush. So if you guys are wondering where this one is from, that's where I got it. Now the next shade that we're going to be using is called Hypnotic. We're going to be using that same pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this tighter onto my lower lash line. Remember that blending is key, so the more you blend, the better it's gonna look. So don't get frustrated with these colors because I know that they're very hard to work with. And yeah, the next shade that I'm gonna be going in with is called Warning Label, and I'm going in with the Morphe E17 brush. And this is just gonna make the look all come together. We're gonna blend this over those shades and make it look very smoky. Next, I'm going to be going in with a pencil eyeliner, and this is from Italia Deluxe. It's very affordable, you guys, so I recommend it as well. And I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line using a sponge from my foundation powder. I'm going to be pulling down the skin on my face so I don't mess up my foundation. Next, I'm using the Hyper Real Glow MAC Cosmetics Highlighter Palette, and I'm going to be applying this shade with a little brush onto my inner corner. The liquid that I was using is the Urban Decay Setting Spray. It's the all-nighter one, I believe. And this is just going to make this look pop. I'm also going to be applying this on my brow bone, you guys. And I'm using the clean brush that I previously used just to blend the shades together. And I'm, of course, going to be applying some mascara on my lower lash line. So yeah, guys, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Here's a video if you guys want to look for a more neutral look. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.